So today we're going to go through the Neewer Photography Background Kit. So this is a great kit that I was super excited about because as a budding photographer, a director, and an editor, I'm always looking for places to get a nice, clean, crisp background. And now that I'm starting to do YouTube videos, this background will allow me to kind of shoot it right in my apartment because it's able to hold up to 10 feet in length across up on the wall. And you can either put it on your ceiling or on the side of your wall. It holds a green screen. It'll hold rolls of paper, as you see right here, which I'm excited to kind of put those up on there. We're going to unbox this bad boy. We're going to put it up, and you guys are going to see what it looks like. And in just a few minutes, this background right here, it's going to look like this. Well, I mean, it hasn't changed yet, but the snap will make sense a lot later, like in the video. Let's dive in. All right, so we got this newer beautiful boxes, which you're gonna get when you order from Amazon. It comes with a nice little memo. Uh, I believe it comes with a one year warranty. That's sweet. So at this point, I have no idea what's in it. That's what, that's what the mystery about all this is. You don't really know what's in it. You know what you ordered, but did you get what you ordered? Who knows? Oh, these are the expanders. So these are the expanders with the weight for the chain. This is one of the chains. Comes with an orange chain, some instructions right here. Okay, it comes with another expander. Looks like it comes with the two more expand bars. Comes with the chain, comes with the weight again. And some more instructions. Uh, so it comes with the expand bars again. Uh, so it looks like those white boxes, you'll get the expand bars, you'll get the weight, you'll get an instruction kit for each one, which I assume works the same way for each one, so I don't think you need all three, but I think it's good to have. So this is what you get in the white boxes. You're getting the, a few expanders, you're getting the three chains, the red, blue, and orange, uh, some of my favorite colors, and uh, you're getting the weights for the chains. So let's move on to what else is inside this Amazon box. These are the brackets. These are what's gonna hold the goodies up. So these brackets are pretty much essential to the three wall mounting kit. It comes with the screws. When you order from Amazon, this is what you're getting. Now we're gonna start putting it up. I'm gonna send a roll camera so I'll just like do fast motion. Okay. So what are we doing right now? Um, we're marking where we're gonna put the brackets into the ceiling. So we could have done the wall, but we decided the ceiling. Ceiling will be better for what we need. Yeah. So 10 feet apart, and then we added an extra inch. On each side, because the pole is 10 inches feet. There's actually a great video online uh, that I, we've been using to help us along the way. I'm gonna share it in the link below. Uh, but if you watch that video, that'll help you in a more detailed fashion on how to put this uh, brackets, how to put the brackets and everything up. Stay tuned, you're gonna see some action right here. We're gonna put it up and then we're gonna show you the results. Uh, last night what we realized was the screws and nuts that it comes with. Uh, these guys, the expansion screws, aren't really effective for my wall and I'm not really even sure if they're effective for many walls. Maybe if you have concrete, brick, or stone, these would be effective, but uh, at least you know, according to us, some online people and the guy at Home Depot, these would not be effective for putting this up on like a drywall situation, which is what I have. Um, so I went to the store and picked up these guys. Uh, I'll put a link below in the info. These are essentially your wall anchors. Um, and we got the number 12, so it's a nice, you know, hearty uh, screw that's going to be in the wall. And it holds up to 61 pounds. Uh, so I figured I don't think it's going to be more than 61 pounds on my ceiling. I'd recommend when you get the product uh, to really look at the screws and make sure they're going to work for your wall because you might have to go to a store like a Home Depot or a Lowe's to pick up some different ones. So definitely kind of put that on your radar. But uh, back to the show.
Rachel, what did you just do right there? <laughs> um, I drilled a hole to the ceiling, and then I just hammered in the anchor. Then we're gonna take the bracket and screw it in with one of the screws. One and done, and we're working on the other. Measuring it, measuring it. You gotta measure it. Measuring is hard. These brackets are heavy. Clean up duty. Yeah, do you have a vacuum? Got the brackets put in, screwed in. We showed you that a little earlier. We got this bar with the green screen. Got this bad boy right here. So the hardest part was putting those brackets up. The pipe does not come with the kit. So the pipe I bought separately, but that's a pretty easy find. So I got the pipe separately. And as you see, we taped a little bit. We had to tape the green screen to it because so that it could spin. But uh, from honestly, after you get the brackets in, it's pretty clear cut. But the hardest part are those brackets, getting them how you want on the ceiling or on the wall. So. Now I actually filmed that video about three months ago when I first started doing more camera tutorials on my channel. And this background has been fantastic for me since then. I've used it for tutorials, I've used it for the behind the sketch series, I've used it for all those demo videos I've done about cameras and sound. Um, and you might notice that there's different colors on the background, and that's because I use a certain lighting kit that allows me to adjust the coloring. Uh, so I'm gonna put the lighting kit information down below, but I'm also actually gonna do a video about that lighting kit soon. This backdrop and this kit has been so amazing for me. It's kept out of the way. You don't have to deal with the stands. It's just up on the ceiling. I honestly forget that it's even there until I need it. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a clean, clear, under control backdrop. And uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video and it helped you out. And stay tuned for the next one.